Hey everyone, it's me Nico. Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm deciding to do the closet confidential tag created by Fleur de Force here on YouTube. Now I love watching tag videos, so I just wanted to get into the fun and create my own. So without further ado, let's just get right into it. So the first question is, what is the oldest item in your closet? So the oldest item I could I I found was my high school graduation shirt. You know, every time you graduate, they give you a shirt. So this was my high school one. I went to Midwood High School here in New York, in Brooklyn. Um, so this is the shirt. Yeah, I got an extra large. I don't know why. And I never wore it. I never wore it. I never, I never wore this shirt. I just usually, I just got it. I don't know, you know, they just give it out. So I just got it and I never wore it. So it's still in the same condition that I got it in. So this is the oldest item that I found. I'm pretty sure this older, but this is what I found. So the next question is, what is the newest items in your wardrobe? So the newest item, I went shopping the other day, maybe I think it was yesterday I went shopping, and I found these items in Zara. So the first item is these jeans. See the tag that's still on it. So these jeans, they were on sale. Zara was having a major sale, so I didn't feel too guilty buying anything so I just bought these jeans they fit really really good as well as this cardigan let me show you guys I love this color I love this color I love this uh, this detailing and I bought an extra large because I wanted an oversized fit and it's I think it'll be great for the springtime and the summertime or it's kind of heavy so I'm guessing the springtime but I love it so I just had to have it. The next question, the most expensive item in my closet is this Selena luggage phantom tote. I'm guessing what it's called. My Selena luggage phantom tote. Um, yeah, I don't know what much to say about it. This is the most expensive thing. You guys know the phantom. It's all it's all black with even the black um, Celine embossed. Right there, it even has black hardware, the black zipper. This is why I bought it because I love that everything was in black. I'll probably buy another one, but for now, this is the most expensive item in my wardrobe. The next question is, what is the most affordable slash cheapest thing that you wear all the time in your wardrobe? So the most cheapest slash affordable thing is are these H&M shirts. Every time I go to H&M, I buy a couple of colors. So these are the colors that I found right off the bat because a bunch of them are in the wash in my laundry that I'm doing now. So I buy, they're $5.95. So I buy a bunch of these. I wear it around the house. I wear it outside and watch it at the store. I wear it under shirt. This is one right now that I'm wearing under my shirt right now. Um, so this is the most affordable slash cheapest thing that I wear all the time in uh, my wardrobe. So the next question is, what is the biggest bargain that you got? So the biggest bargain that I got was when I went to the YSL sample sale and I picked up these bad boys. These slip-on sneakers. Um, I got these for $75. And when I looked in the box, the original price was $425. So I just thought that these were classic, that I would always wear these, especially in the summertime. Cause I'm always like I, I love easy shoes to get out of so this is just slip your foot in and you go um so yeah these are the this is why I saw in the back as well why I saw here in the emboss and on the bottom kind of dirty yeah so now the next question is what is the biggest waste of money now I don't like wasting money because of course we all work hard for our money but these have to be the biggest waste of money that I've ever, and I'm so mad. So let me just show you them. So these are the shoes, these Giuseppe Zanotti double bar or gold bar sneakers. Like they still have the paper inside. I wore these twice. So now the story behind these is I, I got these when they first came out, but then they were sold out in my size. So of course with Giuseppe, they offer you, they can make them in your size so you have to wait two months for them so i forced i i ran out and I, I i waited two months after i purchased these to get these and then when they came i just thought that the hype was over and i just didn't like them anymore they're so gaudy they're just they're too much i don't know if they're just too much but they're just I, 
they're just not me right now. And I spent a lot of money on these, and I'm so mad that I probably wore these twice in the three years that I had them. Twice, like, like look at the bottoms. They're still brand new. I wore them one time for a photo shoot, and the other time to a party, and both times I didn't like them. I don't know, maybe they might grow on me again, but these are the biggest waste of money ever. So now there are three bonus questions. Well, in like clothing right now, I love denim shirts. I'm always wearing denim shirts. I have a ton of colors and a ton of shades. So I love denim shirts as well as hats. So here's my fedora that I'm wearing. I love, love, love hats. I have a bunch of these fedoras in different colors now. As in jewelry, like I collect a lot. So one of them is from uh, this company, you know, and I wear this. I. I have a lot of jewelry, but this is what I reach for all the time. I just didn't think because it's classic and it just goes well with my bracelet that I have on right now. And then you just put it on and it's just, I think it's just perfect. And you just, and it just stays on. And I just think it just adds texture and I think, I just think it looks great with anything. So oh, I always grab this one if I'm ever going to stack with whatever else I'm wearing. This Hermes bracelet just click clack. The next item is... A fragrance um this Balenciaga Lassance now I think this is a perfume but it's gender friendly but this is the one I think this is my signature scent when I was looking through my cologne collection this is the one that I've used the most like it's down here I know it's kind of crazy but I have a lot of cologne so it's down here and I, oh, I'm always reaching for this and spraying it and then my sales associate she like engraved my name in there I don't know if you can see it she engraved my name in there, so I thought that was pretty cool. And it just comes with a little dust bag. So I thought I also thought that was cool, but this is it for fragrance. And but last but not least, for sunglasses, because I'm a sunglasses hoarder, I have the Celine Black Classic glasses. I'm not sure what they're called. If I find what they're called, I'll just link them in the um, description bar down below. Um, out of all my glasses, I always reach for these first because I think they just think that they're black and they're classic and they're... I don't like really naming on my glasses, so I just thought that the Celine logo was on the side, which was fine. And if you like turn them in, then you'll see the actual Celine name. But I just love these glasses. I always reach for them first. Let me put them on. What do you guys think? Put them on. Like they probably don't look good right now, but yeah, I always reach for these first. And that's it so thank you guys for watching my closet confidential tag um don't forget to like comment and subscribe to my videos if you guys want to continue to come on my journey to see where i'm going so have a great day bye